Yes. Sir, first of all, I take this opportunity to extend my sincere thanks to the Sir, Honorable Speaker please. for having admitted this discussion under Rule 193 regarding the price rise. Sir, I am confining to my point in respect of the GST, 5% of GST on food grains. All other issues have already been elaborately discussed in the House in respect of the price rise. Sir, the famous quoting of inflation, I would like to quote, inflation is nothing but taxation without legislation, unquote. This is the thing recently which has happened in our country. There is nothing to explain regarding the inflation. And the alarming situation now the country is facing is because of this 5% of GST rate on food grains that has adversely affected the common people, the people, marginalized sections of the society is directly affected and that is still having utter confusion among the consumers among the traders and the people at large, utter confusion among the state government as well as the central government. Sir, the inflation rate is all-time high since 2014. It has increased to 7.79% in April 2022, while the market forecast for the period was just 7.5%. Food inflation accelerated for the seventh straight month to 8.38%, highest since November 2020. Inflation in cost of transportation and communication, 10.91%. Health, 7.21%. Footwear, 12.12%. Clothing, 9.51%. The inflation is staying above the 2% to 6% mark. Tolerance limit set by the RBI continuously for the last four months in a row. This is the situation which is prevailing in our country. Sir, one side, the Reserve Bank of India is taking their own monetary measures so as to address the price rise and also giving and cautioning all the state governments and the central government to address the situation to curb the inflation. Yes, I do agree that the government of India in tune has announced an excise duty exemption cut of rupees 8 rupees per litre on petrol and 6 rupees per diesel and some other measures have already been taken as far as the import duties on raw materials for steel and plastic and has also announced ban on wheat exports. Some measures have already taken by the government of India. I would like to force a specific question to the Honourable Finance Minister whether the measures taken or adopted by the government is sufficient to curb the inflation. Sir, according to me, no. The government totally failed in addressing the inflation and the price rise which is prevailing in our country. Sir, to that, to fuel the fire, to fuel the fire, on 18th July, 5% of GST has been imposed on all the food grains, especially on cereals, rice, flour, and cut, which are pre-packed and labeled. Sir, since it is a matter of getting additional revenue, I would like to believe our Honorable Home Minister and also I would like to believe, uh, sorry, Honorable Finance Minister, Union Finance Minister as well as the State Finance Minister. Mr. Chairman, sir, you may be well aware the State Government of Kerala and the Finance Minister unequivocally stated in the press conference. This is absolutely the responsibility of the Union Government. The State Government has never spelt about increase of 5% duty or the GST on the food grains. This is the situation. Center is blaming the State Government and the State Government is blaming the Central Government. The consumers and the traders, shopkeepers, all are in big trouble. And who is responsible for that? Utter confusion is there. And what are the legalities? I am not going to want all the... So the turmoil has start, started. For the first time, the GST has moved from commodity-wise taxation to the package-wise taxation. Sir, please, I may be given two, three minutes. I am confining to a particular point alone. Sir, I don't understand what is the necessity and urgency of imposing 5% of GST on food grains. It was taken by the GST Council without having any proper preparation and without having any homework. Sir, for example, I will take the confusion. Rice, if it is pre-packed and labeled as per the Legal Meteorology Act and rules and kept in a shop, it is going to be 5% rate. If it is packed in the presence of a consumer, the rate is 0%. If a shopkeeper takes 5 kilograms loose from a 30 kilogram bag and give to a consumer, rate is 0%. If the same shopkeeper takes 5 kilograms loose from a 25 kilogram bag, 
he will have to be a 5% from his own pocket when he cannot collect from the consumer. Sir, do you mean to prove these transactions based on the CCTV footage on petty shops? How you are going to assess this? See, this is the only same product. Kindly, kindly examine and revisit the situation. And, and another thing is, sir, paneer butter masala has become the star menu in social media. Sir, if you examine GST for butter is 12%, GST on paneer is 5%, Masala, it is 5%. And what is paneer butter masala? Sir, I could give a fine answer. Since it is cooked and ready to serve its GST, it can be considered as 5%. Since different items are different, sir, please, please. So different items in different tax rates are included, it can be considered as 12%. Since it is having, it is included, not included in any schedule, it can be considered as 18%. Since it can also be considered as a luxurious item by an officer, then it can be 28%. Sir, what would be the fate? Whether any clear clarity is there as far as the government, sir, please, two minutes, just me, just let me conclude. And, and who is being benefited, sir? Multinationals and malls and even online giants have elaborate system to please adapt conclude. the changes. But our consumers Honorable and the small scale KPD. traders are in big trouble. Sir, 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 let please, me conclude, please. please. Uh, yeah. So, Nothing is clear about this thing. So the basic reason for the present inflation is a man-made catastrophe, according to me, the untimely and the antagonistic decisions of the central and sub-state Yes. So I accept all the inflation. Why is it? So I accept all the inflation. Dhaniwa Sabapati Mahode, you have given me 